well guys do you want to make a program in java like you have to write a java code and after the executing that program if you want to output like this you can see on the screen that uh, enter first number enter second number and enter the choice so and choice we have a uh, four options over here like addition subtraction multiplication and division so how can we achieve this kind of output with the help of java programming so for that purpose we will have one concept in java programming that is known as the control statement and inside the control statement we have one type that is known as the if else if statement in java programming so with the help of if else if statement how can we achieve this kind of output and so today's video session is all about this So welcome back my dear friends my name is Nishant Kumar and let's go to the computer screen where I will show you each and every small detail about how can you achieve this kind of output in Java programming. So let's go to the computer screen. Now I have come to my computer screen and here I am going to demonstrate one example like uh, a menu driven program with the help of if else if statement in Java programming. So here I need to uh, take some input from the user so to do so we have to import a scanner class and here we need to write import java dot util dot scanner and then I need to create the object so here create the object and uh, system dot in here we need to write and suppose here i'm going to uh, take three variables over here x y and z and uh, here i'm going to give some message to the user like enter first number and first number i'm going to store in that uh, variable x and here i need to write the next int method and that's exactly same thing i need to do for the y and z so here you can see that this is the, for the second number and second number I will store in the Y but inside the third case you can see that here I need to give the some menu or options over here or choices uh, I need to give to the user so here enter your choice like this but here uh, one more thing you need to understand that here I'm going to use the backslash n and backslash n is used to break the line and here I need to display like addition so first option for the addition and second option is for the subtraction and third option is for the multiplication and uh, fourth option is for division and uh, all these choices I am going to store in the variable z instead of z I will write choice so it would be quite easy to understand so that choice I'm going to store in that choice only so now I need to check with the condition like if like choice equals to equals to one then I need to perform addition so here system dot out inside the system dot out I need to type like uh, um, sum is or addition is and here we need to concate and here I need to write x plus y I need to perform so here if this condition is true means if user has entered one as a option so this condition would be correct and then uh, you will get the sum h and whatever the value of x and y that uh, you will get the addition of that both the number but uh, if user will enter the choice as a 2 so for that purpose we need to check the second condition and to check the second condition we need to type else if statement and inside the else if statement I am going to type like uh, choice equals to equals to 2 so if this condition is true so here I am going to perform the subtraction over here and you can see that here I am going to print that subtraction is x minus y like this so exactly same way I need to do for the multiplication and for the division and just over here I need to change the choice like 3 and if uh, choices is 3 so here I am going to print multiplication is x multiplication y and uh, 
last condition is 4 and here I am going to print that division is x division y. So if user will enter the first options so user will get the addition if second so second condition is true and then you will get the subtraction if you want to uh, perform the multiplication then you have to provide the three so this condition will correct and you will get the multiplication and if you want to division then you need to press the four so you will get the division answer but suppose user has entered uh, five means other than these four number user has entered five six any anything other number so at that time else will work so inside the else statement i need to give only a statement there is no condition inside the else so here i need to type that uh, invalid uh, choice invalid choice try letter like this you can give the message to the user and uh, now if i will execute this program so here you can see that enter first number and uh, here i am going to first number like 12 press enter so it will ask the second number and here i am going to give uh, what number suppose 10 and now press enter so you can see that here you can see that enter your choice so user will able to see that okay we have four options over here so if user wants to uh, perform the addition so user will enter one and if user will press enter so here you can see that sum is 22 so in this way user can perform whatever the operations he wants to perform or she wants to perform so suppose in this case is all okay but i will execute once more uh, like uh, here like this first number second number is this and suppose here i need to perform the multiplication then you need to press 3 and you can see that multiplication is 936 but uh, uh, suppose here the first number is this second number is 8 and now suppose user will enter uh, like options is uh, 5 but we do not have fifth options as a choice so if i will press enter so it will go inside the else statement and it will print that invalid choice try letter so this is the way that if we have multiple conditions so how can we check that so this is the for the first condition second condition third condition and fourth condition and all the conditions are not true then compiler will go inside this else statement and it will print that invalid choice try letter so this is the concept about the menu driven program means how can we check the multiple conditions and uh, according to the options how can you perform the plus minus multiplication division means all the mathematical operations we can perform over here so i hope uh, all the points would be clear to you and uh, in the next video session exactly same program i am going to do but with the help of uh, switch statement here i am using the if else if statement but uh, how can we do the same exactly same program with the help of switch statement so see you guys in the next video session so thank you so much guys for your time